to BizJet TV, it's Fab Polly, and today we're going to talk about Elon Musk and his use of private jets. Now, there's been a lot of talk about this subject over the last few days because one mainstream newspaper attacked Elon Musk because he used his private jet 250 times in 2018. So the question is, you know, why would someone like Elon Musk use a private jet 250 times? They say, you know, he's polluting the environment, blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, let's look at this. Elon Musk is worth $21 billion. So if you were worth $21 billion, and I'll just, you know, let, let, let's forget the $21 billion for a moment, okay? Most of you watching this video probably either own a car or use a car, and some of you may even have a car which is chauffeur driven. The question is, why do you have a car? The car's on your driveway or just sitting outside your office. The convenience of traveling by car is fantastic because, you know, you can suddenly decide to go down, down the road with your car. You just, oh, let's go. Off you go. What would happen if instead of using the car, your own car, or chauffeur driven car, you use the bus? Chances are the bus stop's not just outside your house or outside your office, so you need to walk to the bus stop. Problem number one. Problem number two. The bus leaves at certain times, so you need to plan and probably leave earlier, okay, and arrive early to your meeting and maybe leave you know, catch the bus a bit later. So because of the bus times, you're going to waste a lot of time. The bus stop at the other end won't be near your meeting, so you have to walk maybe five to ten minutes to get to your meeting. So you're going to lose a lot of time. And that time turns into energy as well. You're also sharing the bus with other people. You may get on the bus and you can't sit down and maybe the bus rides half an hour. So you've got to stand up for that ride in a crammed bus with other people. You know, and that does drain your energy. So by the time you get to the other end, you're not as refreshed. Now, what would be the difference if you were to drive yourself or even better, have someone else drive you, which could be a chauffeur or could be a friend or a family member that's going to drive you from A to B, allowing you to sit in the back and continue working or focus on your meeting while you're traveling. So let's just project yourself into Elon Musk's shoes. A guy worth $21 billion, he owns a Goldstream G650 and he uses the G650 to travel, not only for business, but also with his family. And sometimes when he has to go on a business trip, like he recently went on a trip and stopped over in Ireland on his way to his destination to take his children to see the Game of Thrones theme park. So he combined pleasure with business. Why not? The other interesting fact, which a lot of people don't know, is 50% of private jet flights are in and out of airports which aren't serviced by the airlines. Now, this airport could be closer to your meeting, so you're going to save even more time. The other interesting factor is that 95% of Fortune magazine's list of best companies to work for are actually companies that use business aviation. And the third statistic, which is important, if you look at the S&P companies, the S&P companies that use business aviation outperform those that don't by a whopping 70%. So, if we look back at the analogy of the chauffeur-driven car to the bus, this is why someone like Elon Musk uses a private jet. He owns his own jet and he uses it and he keeps it available 24-7. This allows Elon Musk to do what he does. I mean, he's such a busy guy and a lot of people think, how can this guy do all these so many things? You know, between Tesla, between SpaceX and the Boring Company and the other projects he's thinking of doing or he's actually working on. I mean, this guy is super busy. So being a super busy person, it's important for him to manage his energy. And that's what it's all about. When he goes to a meeting, he, be, he needs to be able to walk in that meeting and give it 100%. To give 100% in anything, and you ask any sports person, anybody that's won an Olympic gold medal, anybody like a, a top football player like Cristiano Ronaldo, you ask them how important it is to manage their energy so that when they do go on the field, they're going to put on their best performance. So traveling by private jet allows you to do this. And this is why Elon Musk, who is a high performance individual, can do what he does. Now, how does this affect the man on the street? Well, someone like Elon Musk is the kind of person that comes up with an idea, the idea turns into a product, the product turns into a business, and the business needs people to run it. And consequently, you think of the Tesla car factory, how many people does he employ? Think of SpaceX, how many people does he employ there? And the other things that he'll come up with. So Elon Musk is an entrepreneur, he's a visionary, he's a guy that can create businesses, create jobs. You know, we want someone like that 
to be as effective as possible because he's going to create those jobs. And a lot of people don't know that Walmart, which is one of those supermarkets or grocery stores, as you call them in the United States, they are one of the biggest owners and users of private jets in the world. And you can click on the link here to see my video where I compare Tesco's, which is another supermarket chain, to Walmart and see how they go about it. So private jets do increase efficiency and it's a great tool for a high performance individual like Elon Musk. And that's simply why he uses the private jet. So this journalist that wrote this article against Elon Musk hasn't got a clue. Putting this label on private jets, calling it a luxury item has to stop. The private jet is not a luxury item. Yes, it can be a luxury item, but most of the time the, the private jet is a business tool. It's a tool which helps high performance individuals become more high performance. So if you are one of those people that aspires to become a high performance person, you really need to look into private jet usage and owning your own private jet or leasing one, having one available 24 seven. And if you haven't watched other videos on this channel, the purpose of this channel is to educate people on the private jet market and the uses of private jets. Just, you know, click on a few other videos, uh, subscribe because I'm posting weekly now different videos to educate the market on private aviation. So subscribe to BizJet TV, share with your friends and colleagues, and uh, comment below if you want me to post a video about a certain subjects just post it in the comments below if you want to contact me and have a private jet consultation my email is just below and that's all from Fab Pilot Biz Jet TV and I'll see you on the next one